Well, it's great to see another familiar face back with your Rockford Ice Sox for the upcoming 2021-22 season. It's the heavy hitter, award winner, the reigning champ, and Dimitri Osipov, the Ice Sox defenseman. Dimitri, welcome back to the club. I know uh, this is going to be your fourth season in Ice Sox uniform, your fifth as a professional. So welcome back. It's home sweet home all over again for you. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, as you said, home sweet home. Can, can, get, can get away from the team. Just too good of an organization to uh, go from it. Well, with that being said, too, I mean, right now you're still in the battle with this organization. You're still playing hockey as we speak. We're in late stages, July or June going into July, and you're playing with the Indy Fuel, the ECHL, helping them push into the postseason. So by the time that season's done, you're going to have to get ready for training camp again. So you might as well just keep rolling on over and keep the red and black on your back because uh, it'll be a fun turnaround for you and the Ice Sox beginning a new year. Oh yeah, it's you know, not not uh, not not to waste too much time sitting around. Just get right right back into it. Well, now looking back at your season, I know we just caught up not too long ago when you did claim the Ice Sox Heavy Hitter Award, over 45 hits to lead the Rockford Ice Sox by a pretty sizable margin. But what I want to dive into now, Dimitri, is what you're doing to look forward to. Now that you know that you're going to have a home for the upcoming season, you get a nice running start by still playing hockey with the Indy Fuel as we speak. But we touched a little bit about your development, not only as a heavy hitter and playing the physical aspects, but also being able to contribute on the blue line as well as on the point production side as well. So now no that you have a home for next year what's your angle what's your focal point uh in these final games with the fuel and then of course in the shortened off season and get ready for training camp again well i mean with the fuel it's, uh, the only goal is just to get as close to the kelly cup as, as uh, we possibly can as a team <clears throat> and that's that's the only goal that we have at this point and uh going forward with rocker i think it's just work on my strengths and uh you know the weaknesses will follow and then uh, again, hopefully next year will be a better year uh, in terms of uh, you know non-COVID season. Hopefully, get to, uh, right into playoffs and work work our way to uh, to the cup. Do you feel like you have an advantage right now, given that you're still playing hockey, but at the same time you have a shorter off season as well? So it almost as if you get to keep pretty much picking up where you left off, whether it's as you mentioned the Kelly Cup playoffs and pushing for that Kelly Cup, and then training camp would just be right on the horizon. Yeah, it's like it's a, it's. It, it's, it seems like a good thing and it's not at the same time because obviously it's not as much of a rest for me, especially coming off of like what we've been sitting, sitting doing nothing for a year due to the COVID. And you know, nowadays, I guess, I guess for me personally, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. Just I don't really like to sit around wasting my time. So that'll be kind of a nice thing to just to like straight off uh, this season, go on to our next one and see what happens. You've called the greater Chicagoland area and the state line home now for the last couple of seasons that I mentioned. You're going into your fourth season with the Rockford Ice Sox and your fifth as a professional. So there's a level of comfortability and you know what your expectations are when you go into a new season. What were your conversations like with head coach Derek King, Anders Sorensen and the development staff and, and what they're looking forward from you uh, moving into a new year? Oh, they're just expecting the same thing as I did this year. It's just, you know, being a good, good defensive, defensive defenseman as they sort of speak. Just you know, be a good shutdown defense help the team as much as I could with my uh, all the abilities that I have, like uh, playing D zone and obviously work on some offensive skills and, uh, you know, see what that will carry me. And hopefully we'll get some, get on the scoreboard quite often. I guess, uh, see how that's going to go. Well, I know you can't dive into training right now because, again, you're still playing. But for you, I mean, what's going to be your mindset once this season closes, uh, the official season closes, whether the Ice Sox and, of course, the Indy Fuel, and then uh, trying to recharge the batteries for next year? I mean, are you going to be able to take any downtime or is it going to be right back to work for Dimitri Ospov? I think it will be just like back to work sort of almost immediately. Maybe, maybe like a few days off just to kind of like turn around a little bit, get the, get the mind ready for, uh, again, for like the postseason workouts and stuff. But – as much as like as far as I as I'm concerned right now, I think it'll be just back right, right back into it. <laughs> all days off, you know. It's just can you know, you know yeah. can't spend too much time. But I I would imagine that's a mental advantage too, just not having to stress about it, not have to worry about it. Because again, you're comfortable with the coaching staff, with your environment, your living situation. You pretty much got all that taken care of. So I imagine there's a lot of X factors that are off the table for you in terms of of, of being able to to change your mind and get ready for a new year. Oh, exactly. That takes like a huge weight from me back. Like you don't have to worry about like where you're going to go, what's going to happen, how you're going to uh, like prepare for, because I know, you know, that this time I already know that I'm coming back. So it kind of like gives me advantage of, I know where I'm going to go, where I'm going to do for some, where I'm going to train, where I'm going to skate, that kind of stuff. And then the, obviously the housing, that, that kind of, that thing's taken care of. So it's, especially in the mental, like the mental state, 
and just you, you have that kind of comfortable feeling and you don't have to stress about it and just uh, it, because of that obviously the postseason usually goes really smooth and now Dimitri take us inside that indie field locker room I know you're you're in the middle of a postseason hunt that has to be exciting for you as a player to be in that playoff push Indy had a fantastic start to the season and then of course you know with just how long the season is you got injuries you got call-ups you know they deal with the same uh, things that the ice songs have the challenges throughout the course of the year but what's it like in that locker room right now and and uh, I know our fans are, are following from afar but uh, what can we look forward to from you and the fuel here down the stretch Oh, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's, it's a blast here with the, the team is really good. The locker room, we were like kind of going right now, obviously, because we have a really good advantage uh, over the a few other teams. So, like, obviously now it's a lot of players coming from injuries, as you said, but uh, as a like fully healthy team, I think we have a really solid chance to uh, get the Kelly Cup, Kelly Cup finals and hopefully take it. I guess that's our main goal right now, but it's, uh, it's honestly, it's indescribable. It's just so much energy inside the locker room. And it's kind of, it's kind of, obviously it's, it's just different hockey. I was like, if you go into playoff, it's totally different, obviously emotions, excitement, and uh, obviously fans, fans are really excited about it too. So well, Dimitri, good luck the rest of the way with the Indy Fuel, and it would certainly be a lot of fun to see you walk into that ice hockey locker room with a, a little bit of hardware on your uh, on your finger, at least, uh, so to say, if you're able to come back. Oh, no, that. No, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> well, congratulations on the new contract, and uh, we look forward to watching you in the Fuel here in this postseason push, and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon. Awesome. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it.